Lesson 1C, rounding whole numbers. Okay, I've said this a couple times now if you've watched the previous videos. Whole numbers are the numbers we use to count. They're counting numbers. No fractions or decimals allowed. And we can round whole numbers to a particular place value to do math calculations faster. Our answers won't be exact, but sometimes that'll be good enough. Like if we're at the store or something, right? If the digit to the right is 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, then the number stays the same and the digits to the right become zeros. And if the digit to the right is 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, then the number rounds up to the next larger number and all the digits to the right become zeros. Sorry about how dark that is. It's starting to get stormy outside, so I'm losing my light here. If the digit to the right is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, it stays. If it's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, it goes up. So this is the rule. You might want to write that down if you don't know it already, but that's the rule to follow, okay? We go by the digit to the right, and if it's one of these, it tells it what to do to stay or go up. So it says round to each underlined place value. So here we have this 2 that's underlined. Well, that's the 10 thousands place. We look to the digit to the right, and it's a 7. Well, 7 says go up. It tells the 2 to round up to a 3. So 27,492 rounds to 30,000, to the tenths place, ten thousandths place. We've got the exact same number, 27,492, except now this 7 is underlined. That's the one thousandths place. We look to the digit to the right, this 4 tells the 7 to stay the same. See? 4 says stay. So this 7 is going to stay the same. These all are finished doing their job, and they all turn into zeros. We have 27,000. Same exact number again, 27,492. Now the 4 is underlined. Well, that's the hundreds place. This 9 tells the 4 to round up to a 5. So. This is going to round to 27,500. See? Let's do a couple more. Round 18,219 to the nearest 10,000. So the first thing we do is locate that place value, the 10,000. It's right here. And we look at the number to its right. It's an 8. Well, the 8 tells the 1 to go up to a 2. Then the 8 and all these numbers to the right turn into zeros. So it goes up to a 2, we get 20,000. See? Let's try it again. Now we got a big number. It says round 70,915,428 to the nearest million. We locate that place value, million. Well, there's a zero here. We look at the number to the right, it's a 9. 9 tells zero to go up, so it's going to go up to a 1. Then this 9 and all of these digits are going to turn into zeros, so we have 71 million. Try another one. We've got the exact same number, 70,915,428, and we need to round to the nearest 100,000. We locate that place value, that's the 9, that's the 100,000, and we look to the digit to the right, it's a 1, it tells the 9 to stay the same, and the 1 then becomes a 0 with all the numbers to the right. So we have 70,900,000. See? So it's useful to round numbers. We could round numbers to the nearest 10 and then add them. If we're at the grocery store, that could really help us if we're just trying to figure out how much we're spending. 59 plus 31, well, that 9 tells the 5 to go up to a 6, and it becomes a 0, so we have 60. This 3, we look to the right, the 1 tells the 3 to stay the same, so it rounds to 30. We have 60 plus 30, it's about 90. We could even use money to do it. If you want to round to the nearest dollar, if we've got $4.98 and we need to round to the nearest dollar, well, here's the dollar place. This 9 is going to tell that 4 to go up. It's going to turn into zeros. It's going to round to $5.00. If we need to take away $2.57, we can round it to the nearest dollar. That 5 tells the 2 to go up. So now, and then it turns into zeros. So now we've got $5 take away $3. That's $2. See? Now you can try doing the GED skill focus questions.
that are on page 35 and see how you do. Our next video is comparing, ordering, and grouping. It's going to be Lesson 1D. If you need more help with this topic, there's going to be links to Grade 3 Math 1.2 and Grade 4 Math 1.4, okay? And they're not very long, but if you need a little extra help and you try doing those skill-focused questions and you're having trouble, try clicking on this description, going to the links, and seeing if they help. Or you could even watch this video again. I hope you're doing well. I'm proud of you for doing this. I think you're going to be okay. Just stick with me, and I'll see you next video. Bye.